A new scoop from Axios is devastating for the Buttigieg campaign. A, a major bundler for Buttigieg used language that flirted with illegality in terms of campaign finance as he begged for big money donations and emails sent to prospective big money donors. And one of those prospective donors blew the whistle. And now we have this report. And uh, in typical fashion, the Buttigieg campaign's response is indignant trying to distance themselves from the bundler, but this is indicative of the attitudes of, of many of these corporate democratic campaigns. The problem is that this bundler said the quiet part loud. In a recent email exchange with a wealthy prospective donor, a top fundraiser for Democratic presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg made an offer that was unusually blunt, even by modern pay-to-play standards. If you want to get on the campaign's radar now before he is flooded with donations after winning Iowa and New Hampshire, sure, you can use the link below for donations. The fundraiser HK Park wrote in an email to the donor, which was reviewed by Axios. Love the assumption there that Buttigieg is just going to blow through uh, <laughs> Iowa and New Hampshire. But I unironically do love the framing there from Axios. I mean, unusually blunt, even by modern pay to play standards like it, it's just being upfront about how the standard is currently pay to play. And you don't usually get that admission from a major mainstream media outlet. But uh, this one from Bundler HK Park, who has apparently raised tens of thousands of dollars for Buttigieg, uh, just, he just admitted the open secret. It's very telling and concerning that one of the campaign's major bundlers would talk like that, said the donor who had asked not to be named. What would this suggest about the way he's going to interact with Silicon Valley if the implication is pay for play? If that's the way he's operating, the donor added, it's in the public interest for people to know what's being said. That prospective donor is an American hero. I love that. <laughs> Whistleblowing on the Be the Judge campaign. Mm, I couldn't I couldn't love it more. And then Axios did interview a campaign finance expert in the piece who was like, yeah, it's pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty pay to play. Um, the Buttigieg campaign, of course, vehemently denied all wrongdoing. A Buttigieg campaign spokesperson responded, the campaign did not see or authorize the language in this email, but it is ridiculous to interpret it as anything more than asking potential supporters who may be interested in Pete to join our campaign before caucusing and voting begins. So ridiculous, as in don't believe your lying eyes or ears. And even if this didn't come directly from the Buttigieg campaign, it indicates that these are the tactics that are encouraged by the fundraising arm of the Buttigieg campaign. And it's what we knew. We knew it with the wine caves. We knew it with the billionaire uh, fundraisers in New York City. The fact that he was extremely resistant to opening them up to the press for weeks and weeks and weeks and was pressed on it.